And now, The Morning Rush. Here we go, everything you need to know to get your day started. Danny Travis kicks off your Morning Rush. We now know the name of the semi truck driver killed in an I-95 crash alongside Florida Highway Patrol trooper Zachary Fink last Friday morning. 55 year old Arsenio Moss of Homestead has been identified as that driver. FHP says his truck collided with trooper Finks who was chasing down a 30 year old Michael Addison in the Port St. Lucie area. FHP also released Addison's arrest report a day after St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office released their own. You can learn more right now on CBS12.com. Well, if you are looking to honor the life and memory of Trooper Fink, a funeral service will be held Monday at Christ Fellowship Church. It's located at 10250 Southwest Village Parkway and begins at 11 a.m. This morning, a local dentist and her husband are due in court on charges stemming from allegedly stealing over a million dollars from Medicaid. Now, Mariana Zadov and her husband, Simon Liesgold, were arrested back in November after reportedly being involved in a complex scheme where they overcharge patients for services covered by Medicaid for years. Today, prosecutors are expected to make the argument to get dozens of their witnesses on the stand, as well as determine how long they'll need for this trial. In a drone strike in Baghdad, the Pentagon says the U.S. killed a high-ranking commander of an Iranian-backed militia, blamed for the death of three American soldiers in Jordan. The U.S. says the commander killed is responsible for directly planning and participating in terrorist attacks against American forces in the Middle East. The Supreme Court today will hear a case that could keep former President Donald Trump off of primary ballots in multiple states. The case centers around the 14th Amendment and whether Trump engaged in an insurrection on January 6, making him ineligible for office. Officials in Colorado and Maine determined that he did violate the 14th Amendment and shouldn't be on their ballots, while Trump's lawyers argue that he did not participate in the Capitol attack. Trump is not expected to be at the, at the Supreme Court today. Wellington Village Council members have voted in favor of a controversial development plan in the area's equestrian preserve. Developers want to rezone 96 acres of preserved land and replace the equestrian village to build residential communities and a country club. In exchange, they would relocate the equestrian village and expand showground facilities at Wellington International. Let's get a look outside right now from Lake Worth. You can see a few clouds across parts of the area, but it's overall not a bad looking start to the day. Radar is nice and dry all over uh, the southern portion of the state, really all of Florida right now, looking quite nice. Skies will stay dry out there as we go through the rest of our uh, Thursday. We're going to see a couple of clouds coming on shore, more of an east component to the wind today. That's one of the reasons why we're seeing our temperatures starting to moderate a little bit. 50 degrees in Okeechobee right now. Port St. Lucie's at 56, 59 currently in West Palm Beach. And we're back in the mid 70s as we move into the afternoon today. That is average for this time of year, right where we should be anyway. But remember, we're going to start to warm as we move into the weekend. Our temperatures are then back near 85 on Monday of next week. Matt and Sam. All right, well, that does it for us here on CBS 12 News this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, we are back in 30 minutes with another local update. But remember, the news is always on at CBS12.com. Let's leave you with a live look out at Juneau Beach. Have a great day, everybody.